This is a film student. He searches his subconscious for ideas for a new project. But not before he regularly browses the various catacombs of social media and websites that carry the latest in Hollywood news. What must he do for his final film project? An idea has been found. He brings his camera out into the wilderness to highlight the beauty that is Mother Nature. Oh! Thorns! 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 Let us hope he is successful in his endeavor. The film student ventures through the wilderness in search of interesting nature shots. What he does not know is that the forest is a breeding ground for waste, fear, and fornication. He shows the remains of a dead bird, perhaps to make a profound political statement. He puts focus on an orange leaf bathing in sunlight, but dangling in the wind, as if to say how fragile our lives can be. He pushes the branch to make the leaf move, which makes it look as unconvincing as my accent. He then zooms in on an abandoned flower pot that has been turned over. As if to say that, in the grand scheme of things, our society as a whole has gone to pot. As he combs the wilderness for interesting things to film, he makes sure to not get pricked by all the various thorn branches that populate this forest. He finds an abandoned messenger bag and looks inside to see if there's anything left. But alas, he does not find anything, as if to say that in the grand scheme of all creation, our lives are filled with nothingness. The film student becomes aggravated. He does not know what to film. He then notices a small brook on the other side of the forest and goes to investigate. On his way to the brook, he finds a cindered baseball and films it as if to make a grand statement that America's favorite pastime has lost its luster. He crosses over to the other side of the woods to find the brook. He balances himself on a turned over tree, balancing himself and his burdens. At last, he reaches the brook and films it, only to then realize that all of his suffering was for nothing. A fitting metaphor for our own lives as homo sapiens. He then decides to give up and find his way back to society, once again avoiding thorn branches. On his way out, he discovers an abandoned egg carton, empty with no eggs, clearly a bold statement against the circle of life. He finds a clear passageway to get out of the forest, but then gets aggravated at himself for not finding out about it to begin with because he clearly could have used that to get inside the forest. Truly, he is a creature of great self-forgiveness. As he makes his way back home, he bids a fond farewell to the wilderness, thanking Mother Nature for all that she has done for today. As he makes his way to his doorstep, he discovers that he forgot to bring in today's newspaper, and yesterday's as well. Truly, he is a man of great sloth and laziness. Another fitting metaphor 
for our species as a whole. He sets his SD card inside his laptop. He then imports all the work he's done for today into Final Cut Pro. He then proceeds to edit and paste and put in music and visuals and- Can you just please stop talking now, okay? I I'm, I'm trying to edit. All right, I'm sick and tired of hearing that stupid, stupid voice of yours. Just please, let me edit. Please. As you wish, O oh great and wonderful film student. And with that, his journey is complete. And I say to you, O oh Fuidezain, brothers and sisters. Subscribe!